Hello everyone, so this is the special for Oki Shop Easy Game Deals. My name is Riza May. And I'm Nancy. And you are watching Oki, Oki Shop, Shop TV. TV. So there is a special code hidden somewhere in our studio and this code can be used to complete an entry and answer a special question on our game giveaway. Yes guys, this awesome giveaway gives you the chance to win 20 coins every day. Simply type exclamation deal in the chat to access our giveaway page and complete all entry. So, good, good luck. luck! And for the how long so we've got here, Team 3 wins the Worldwide Splatoon 2, Splatoon wins, Splatfist! Oh, and Dynasty Warriors 8 Definitive Edition will only be available digitally. We also got here the Cloud9 and Fnatic head to League of Legends World Championship Semi. The Black Ops 4 is still number one in UK's weekly sales chart. We've got here as well the PUBG release Spooky Halloween trailer and as well as the Edge of Eternity introduces New City Hair's Lore. Now the Abbey's crew heads to Steam Early Access next year, the High Speed 3rd and a lot more of our headline guys. And for our first news update, we've got here the Splatoon 2's latest plot piece, Splatoon has concluded and Marina Team Street emerged as winners beating Pearl's Team Trick. Now guys, Team Trick won in the both normal and group battles and this year's event is also special as it includes a free gear for players, the Genshi hat, Lil Devil Horns, the, the hockey mask and Angelor Fish mask. And as well as these items allow players to take part in Halloween festivities. So here's the video preview, go watch it. Now for our second news update, we got here Dynasty Warriors 8 news. Koei Tecmo American has announced that Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends Definitive Edition will be a digital-only game. And the game will be releasing for Nintendo Switch this coming December 27. Save the date, Gad. Again, that would be December 27. And getting the game on the first week of launch will give the players a 10% discount. So guys, uh, Koei Tecmo also did confirm that Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends Definitive Edition will not be available physically in the West for 19 days. So take a look at this short video clip for the Dynasty Warriors 8. I hope that you won't forget to participate in our game giveaway where you might win 20 coins every day. So just simply tap the exclamation mark game for you to get more details and how for you to participate again. So up next, we've got here the Cloud9 and if Netic advance to the semifinals of the League of Legends World Championship 2018. So guys, with the said or the said event, it looks like the West is dominating the tournament, having already taken two spots in final four. So North America's representative Cloud9 was pitted against Korea's Africa Fricks, and they won. Uh, they won the match with the only three games. Now Europe's Fnatic, on the other hand, took on Edward Gaming or EDG from China. So the first game was a won by EDG, but the rest was dominated by Fnatic. And right there you go guys, heading to our next news update, we got here the Black Ops 4 as it's still number one in UK's weekly sales chart. So Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is still going strong with its second straight week at top spot of UK sales chart. And the game did have a dip in its physical sales but is still holding strong and is protected to be near the top spot of the list in the weeks to come. And guys, for the other games that are part of the top 5 of the week, they have P19. And at this second spot, we got here the Assassin's Creed Odyssey at third place. That would be the Marvel Spider-Man on fourth. And the fifth spot goes to Forza Horizon 4.
Moving on, let's talk about our PUBG really spooky Halloween thriller. So for its details, the PUBG will be celebrating Halloween with four new theme skins and two new masks. So a new thriller for the game shows these creepy items, which include a scary clown, a butcher, a nurse, and a mummy. So the new masks are called a pumpkin and PUBG Corp. Did not specify when these items will arrive in game, but Halloween is just around the corner, so we should expect this soon. So here is the short preview for our PUBG news update. Up next, we got here the Edge of Eternity introduces new City uh, Herald Store. So, Edge of Eternity, which is scheduled to launch on Steam Early Access this coming November 29, has given an overview on one of its cities, Halo Herald Store, also called the City of the Wind. So, the city is known for trading in most valuable uh, goods and is pretty much considered a rich city. So, it is also known for its um, Herald Shen craft and is also famous for winery and a delicate gem cutting. And guys, in addition, Herald Sore is also the first city players which will discover in the game, which will be discovered in the game. So here is the short preview for this one. And of course, up next we've got here the underwater cooperative Rodgelac at this crew is coming to Steam Early Access with a possible launch for uh, spring for 2019. So guys, the game can accommodate one to four players who will have a specific role in the submarine, the pilot, the sonar, operator, the gunner, and the engineer. And of course, we've got here as well, the game can be played locally or via an online artwork and coordination with your team is the key as well as keeping a level head and having a great sense of making life a saving decisions. So, watch the clip. Down to our 8 news update, we got here the uh, high-speed third-person park our games try or sky freezes will be announced. So guys, from the makers of Super Cloud Bit comes the new high-speed third-person park our runner sky traces. So this game, unlike its predator, will include multiplayer support with online competition as primary focus on early signs success. So the game will test the players into jumping over rooftops and fighting against hostile robots of a encounter. Uh, there will be challenging uh, cruises and a few um, frantic multiplayer races as well. So guys, in addition, the game does not have a release date yet, but sign up for its alpha or open in the game's website. So guys, uh, don't forget to find the hidden code somewhere in our studio because again, this is the special loop and on every special loop, there is always a special code hidden somewhere in our studio where you might win 20 coins every day. So, keep it here as an announcement regarding Medieval Remastered will be coming very soon. In fact, we can expect it within the next week or two according to Sid Juman, the social media director of PlayStation. So, the announcement will be made by Sean Layden, the booth at SIE Worldwide Studios via the PlayStation uh, broadcast. Uh, blo yeah. That would be, yeah. And guys, the previous announcement about the Medieval Remaster was done during PSX 2017 and was said to be available on the PlayStation 4 in 4K. And 
comments, of course, up next, and see you. Yeah, guys, for our next news, do you got your fan of LucasArts Outlaw? is making a remake of the game using assets from Call of War's Abound in Blood. And of course, the remake is currently being worked by Akiya Studio. And of course, by the looks of it, this is going to be mod of Abound in Blood. So guys, Outlaws is a first-person shooter released back in 1997 by LucasArts. It has a Wild West setting and follows the protagonist retired U.S. Marshal James Anderson. So we would have to see through whether LucasArts will allow this mod to be released as the company is quite strict when it comes to fun remakes. From one moment to another. And all right, moving on to our second to the last news, we've got the Red Dead Redemption 2 piece. The listing was just a base, a placeholder after all. So for the details of this one, guys, a few days ago, news about um, listing of medium market, uh, market that shows Red Dead Redemption 2 is going to release in PC has circulated the world wide web, and now the company has finally spoken. So guys, the WCCF Tech reached out the media market and the latter said that the listing is simply a placeholder. The company's games department uses it as a placeholder as they are coming on it be uh, being announced for PC as well just like a GTA 5. All right, there you go, guys. So finally, down to our last but not the least news, we got here our deal today. And today's feature deal is the 2014 role-playing game Middle Earth: Shadow of Mordor, which currently has a best price of one year and 39 cents from one of our trusted stores. So on Steam, the game is at 19 euro point 99 cents, and if you purchase it today through our prize comparison, you'll save 93 percent off on your city purchase. So guys, we've got more awesome deals for you. Simply tap exclamation deal in the stream chat for you to get the link to our deals of the day page. And of course, for, for you to compare prices, keep it here at okshop.com.